Great. So hi, everyone. Um, I hope you can uh, see uh, the slides. Uh, so my thanks mostly to Rory for uh, getting this um, integration up and going um, and uh, for organizing this community call with Force 11. Uh, so I'm here uh, with uh, Danny Brooke, who's going to be talking a little bit about uh, some future integrations uh, with the Harvard Data Commons that Rory actually mentioned. Um, so to get started with FAIR data management um, at Harvard, sorry, I'm just going to hold on one second. Okay, that looks much better to me. Okay, um, of course, I have another uh, data life cycle for you. Uh, this is a view of the data life cycle that we have created um, at Harvard that uh, multiple groups use. And it really just shows, you know, the multiple stages and how uh, storage is integral to the research process. Um, and I think it really does connect with the vision that Rory showed you at the end of his presentation, kind of integrating all of the planning, the active research, um, and, and sharing data. Uh, so taking you quickly through this, this really just shows um, the integration uh, kind of with multiple tools actually going beyond just the, uh, the three that have been mentioned, uh, but creating a data management plan, linking it, um, from DMP tool to our space, you know, collecting your data and your metadata actively in an ELN like our space, and maybe even linking in methods from other tools like protocols.io, uh, collaborating and managing your analysis workflows within uh, an ELN like our space, uh, sending curated collections to preservation repositories, uh, which is something that uh, is coming and or hopefully coming and Danny will um, talk a little bit about that and then of course you know publishing results while citing any published works like DMPs protocols data sets uh, code etc and then of course for the access and reuse ensuring that everything you know meets these uh, fair data principles um, so to really illustrate this we have a nice video um, so I'm going to go ahead and play this for you. Hopefully this works out um, pretty seamless. Here is a quick overview of the DMP tool RSpace integration, which facilitates linking together a data management plan and project outputs with minimal effort. Here I have my list of DMPs in DMP tool, and I am recording my research and storing the data in RSpace. I can easily set up the Dataverse and DMP tool integrations on the apps page, enabling RSpace to directly communicate with these services. I can then browse DMPs inside of RSpace. I can filter by my DMPs and public DMPs and can select which DMP to import. Importing into RSpace will store the DMP as a PDF inside of a separate DMP gallery, which I can easily view as well as reference and link to within RSpace. Now, here is my research data for this project. I am ready to export my work. This is a straightforward process within our space, as I can directly export to an external repository such as Dataverse. I will make an HTML export and provide the information Dataverse requires, being sure to associate this export with the appropriate DMP. After the deposit is confirmed, I can view all of the research data in Dataverse. Most importantly, a direct link to the exported materials on Dataverse is then passed back to the original DMP in DMP tool as a unique and permanent related identifier, which supports traceability and fair data. This identifier is also recorded on the landing page for the DMP. This landing page serves as a public facing page listing all outputs related to this specific project. As additional data sets are published, these citations will be automatically added 
to the landing page, keeping the research materials and data management plan in sync throughout the research process. Here is a quick overview. Great, so I hope, um, I think that this video really illustrates uh, the, the integration and things Rory and Maria were, were chatting about. And I'm trying to get out of this view. Okay, great. Um, so I don't really need to go through, you know, the specifics of the integration, because uh, I think the video really highlights that. But I really wanted to break down the tools and specifically the support that we're offering at, at Harvard, because it's not just, you know, the, the integration, right? There needs to be um, some services um, and support behind what, what's happening. Um, so the um, Harvard Library offers support for DMP tool. Um, and we offer some DMP review and consultation services like many libraries. Um, and we have um, a working group, uh, which is a group of multiple research stakeholders across our campus who have um, created templates uh, that include, you know, example texts and links to Harvard policies and resources to really help researchers create their um, data management plans. You know, they can access these um, when they sign into DMP tool with their Harvard credentials. Uh, and we're hoping, you know, with that, you know, new NIH policy that Maria mentioned, uh, we will be updating our templates to reflect that new guidance. Um, and I'm also really excited about the work Maria mentioned regarding machine actionable um, DMPs because it will make those plans even more integrated with the process, hopefully, you know, kind of limiting the burden that I think a lot of the a lot of researchers will find with this new policy. Um, so we recently started a pilot with um, our space and our service is a collaboration between research computing, information technology and the library. Um, as we know, kind of ELNs are becoming more of a standard in research labs and Harvard is piloting two platforms right now, one of which is our space. Um, so of course we've integrated our space with other tools in the Harvard, you know, our Harvard systems to again, you know, just streamline processes, um, make it more efficient for researchers uh, to work where they're already working uh, with this ELN. Um, so I've listed some of the features we think our space enhances uh, for researchers, especially you know that linking to Harvard's research computing storage. Um, and other tools that we have um, through Harvard, like protocols.io, um, Gmail accounts, all of that. And of course, lastly, we do support the data repository Dataverse. Uh, this is a collaboration between um, the Institute of Quantitative Social Sciences, uh, the library, information technology, Dataverse, um, and our Office of the Vice Provost for Research. Um, I just want to mention that we also recently have spun up some curation services. Um, these are fee-based services, uh, but they are specifically aimed at helping researchers ensure that their data sets are um, fair. And uh, just showing the kind of demo data set that was that was in the video. So just to you know wrap up this quick quick um, integration, um, I'm most excited about the the DMP tool piece. Um, having the DMP tied um, to the data set in Dataverse really removes a lot of the barriers for researchers to efficiently and seamlessly, you know, connect their research project products together. Um, as we saw from that kind of project page, uh, you have the DMP tool or DMP there, you have some project information, and then you have a list of all of the outputs um, just created for you. 